Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. Today we're cutting some stuff open. Let's get at it and see what we got today. Let's start things off with one of those little flat Dugway geodes. Oh, nice. Okay. I like how clear it is sometimes and you can just see cool forms and shapes going on in there. Here's a piece of that black agate. This one looks like it would be pretty nice from the outside. And yeah, hopefully you can see some light coming through that. It's really nice. That's a good piece. This is an old geode I had sitting around that I think actually came from Enterprise, not Dugway. Let's see. Ah. <laughs> Pretty solid, which is typical of Enterprise. Here's this nice agate that I got from uh, my subscriber last year that I've been waiting to cut open. And, oh, I like the blue in it. It's got this nice blue kind of haze, and it is fairly clear. Maybe if I grind down a little bit, might be some cool stuff to reveal down in there. Here's another piece of the black agate. This one broke up a little bit, but still really cool. I like how it's got some red in there. Yeah, not too bad. This is a Jasper I found near Enterprise. Looked pretty cool. Oh, look at that. That is really cool inside. A lot of patterns and colors going on there. That is really cool. Here we have a nice red piece of petrified wood. Nice. Kind of hard to see. I'd like to get it polished up, but definitely got some cool little patterns in there. A lot of red. Nice. Here's another flat dugway geode. Not too bad. Still looks nice. There's a little bit of that Bertrandite. Very purple. Oh, look at that white in there. That is really cool. Oh, that is nice. For such a small piece, that is pretty. Here's one of those pieces of the Drum Mountain Agate. I tried to cut it to try and expose some cool things going on it. Let's see. Ooh, you can see a little bit there. There are these cool patterns through it. Not quite down enough to really see the bottom, but that is a good cut for uh, down the road, grinding it down to a good thickness to maybe make it look really cool. I don't know, we'll have to see. Here's a piece of Salina of Wonderstone. It's the kind of brown stuff, doesn't have any black in it. Let's see how it looks inside. Oh, good patterns. Not a variety of, not very colorful, mostly monotone, but very cool patterns. Here's some uh, copper ore that I found in Eureka a long time ago. It's mostly bandits of malachite going through it, and I thought I'd cut it open. This side just kind of broke off, but I got a nice clean cut on this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful stuff? Wish I had more of it. <laughs> Here's another nice piece of petrified wood. Oh, that looks really nice inside. Oh, yeah. That's got some nice pattern to it. That is a good piece. I need more of that. Here's another classic piece of Vernon Wonderstone. Let's take a look. And it does not disappoint. <laughs> nice piece. And the last one today is a larger piece of the Bertrandite. So larger means it should be better. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is some of that higher quality I'm looking for, where it's got these cool patterns. All it needs now is some of that red in it. <laughs> but that's a nice piece. Very nice. I do need to get back out there and dig for some bigger pieces. And that's it. That was some nice stuff. There were some beautiful things in there and a few surprising ones. So that was really cool. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.